Hey, y'all, this is Church from Church's Intake. Uh, let's get into another reading of his word, the book of Enoch. We're going to go from um, Enoch 1, 9 through chapter 13. And uh, it talks about, uh, I was talking about the other day of, um, you know, what the fallen angels, the 12, did, the leaders, the 200 angels that fell from heaven and was cast down to the earth and what they did when they was cast down to earth. Now we're going to talk about the, the four angels, you know, who God has sent. Um, the, the, our messengers are actual watchers that we have now today and um, that watches over us. And um, it's not going to tell you exactly. I'm not going to be able to get into it. This one, the next one, I'll be able to tell you exactly what each one's um job is to do on the earth like michael uriel raphael and gabriel um yeah that's four the, them four right there those are the chief messengers to god that god looks you know what i mean and they, they was the one that was supposed to clean up the earth they cleaned up the earth and and made it pure again and i'm gonna read into the word and i'm gonna discuss as i'm reading because it's it's all good between nine through thirteen Okay, and then Michael, Uriel, Raphael, and Gabriel looked down from heaven and saw much blood being shed on the earth and all the lawlessness being worked on the earth. And they said one to another, the earth made without habitation cries the voice of their crying up to the gates of heaven. And now you, the Holy One of heaven, the souls of men make their suit saying, Bring our court, bring our cause before the high mighty. And they said to the Lord of ages, the Lord's Lord, God of God, King of kings and God of the ages, the throne of your glory stands to all the generations of the ages. And your name is holy and glorious and blessed to all the ages you have made all things and have powered over all things and things and all things are naked and open in the sight of you and see and you see all things and nothing can hide itself from you. You see what Azazel has done, who has taught all unrighteousness on the earth and revealed the perpetual secrets which were preserved in heaven, which men are striving to learn, and Shemzaza, who you have given authority to bear rule over his associates, and they have gone to the daughters of men on the earth, and they have slept with the women, and have defiled themselves, and revealed to them all kinds of sins and the women have borne giants and the whole earth has thereby been filled with blood and unrighteousness and now behold the soul of those who have died are crying and making their suit to the great gates of heaven and their limitations have Ascends, ascended and they cannot cease because of the lawlessness and deeds which were worked on the earth and you know all things before they come to pass and you see all things these things and you permitted them and you do not say up to us what we to do to them in regard to this these were the angels these were my, Michael, uh, Michael, Uriel, Raphael, and Gabriel talking to God himself, telling him like, "Yo, you know all these things. Like, why did you let your sons do these things on the earth?" And God, you know, God felt some type of way when his 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 chief angels was telling him this, like, "Yo, you know that this was going to happen," but. And he was like, yo, the people at the heaven's gates, that's how crazy this is, man. People at heaven's gates, these the people, the men on the earth that died are crying to us at the gate. They can't be let in the gate because they're not, they wasn't made to, to, to go to heaven like that. And they were like, yo, 
They crying like, give our petition to the Lord. Like, this is mankind. Give our petition to the Lord. Like, they doing craziness down there. That's why we all died. And, and the women are, are searching and, and the men are searching for these evil deeds, like to learn more deceitful things on the earth. And then, and then God speaks. Then the might, then the most high uttered the holy and the great one spoke and said, Uriel, the son of Laman, and said to him, go to Noah and tell him my name in my name, hide yourself and reveal to him the end that is approaching, that the whole earth will be destroyed in a deluge is about to come on the whole earth and will destroy all that is on it. And now instruct him that he may escape and his seed may be preserved for all the generations of the world. And again, the Lord said, all right. So he said he took first off, God heard the angels, those four, his four chief angels and said, and then that's when he made it like he wasn't even he was just giving orders. He was barking orders right from the door. He heard them and then they, the angels came to him and then he barked the orders to each one of the angels. Uriel was the first one and Uriel went to Noah. That's why we had the flood. And he told Noah to hide himself. And also, obviously, you know, Noah prepared the ark. But that was what Uriel had told him and, and gave him the premonitions of what to do and how to build. That's why the ark was so big. People got to understand it. That's why the ark was so grand. You know what I'm saying? Because he was preserving the whole mankind. He was his his lineage was the, going to replenish the whole earth because God was destroying all the wickedness on the earth at this time. So he had sent out Uriel to go to Noah first let Noah know what the deal was and to hide himself from the people because it was going down. And then Raphael, and the Lord said to Raphael, bind Azazel hand and feet and cast him into the darkness and make an opening in the desert, which is in Dalul, and cast him therein and place rough and jagged rocks over him and cover him with darkness and let him abide there forever and cover his face that he may not see light in the day and on the day of the great judgment he will be cast into the fire so Uriel was the main dude like I said in the other in the other uh Enoch one what he did he taught him how to make swords knives metals he was telling him about the stones and all of these different things uh potions stuff like that so he was the main dude and he was like yo you ain't gonna see the earth nothing but darkness until judgment day that's craziness angel got cast out straight from that to darkness he ain't gonna be out here even when they allow him to be in these streets at the end he ain't even gonna be able to be then he gonna be here for the great judgment that's it right so then we get into it and heal, and then he tells Raphael also, and heal the earth which the messengers have corrupted, and proclaim and heal, proclaim in the healing of the earth that they may heal the plague, and that all the children of men may not perish through all the secret things that the watchers, which are the angels, the watchers are the angels have disclosed and have taught their sons the sons the watcher sons are giants and the whole earth has been corrupted through the works that were taught by azazel to him ascribed all sins so that's where all the sins come from that's what god's saying it all started from azazel him Azrael, as Azrael, whatever. All the sins came from him. He was the one that taught men how to kill each other, make swords and all that. And then God told Gabriel, and to Gabriel the Lord said, Proceed against the bastards and the reprobates 
and against the children of fornication and destroy the children of the watchers among from among men send them against one another that they may destroy each other in battle for they will not have length of days yes he told gabriel to go against the bastards and the reprobates the ones that's got these evil mindsets and to the watchers children which are the giants and send the giants against one another that they won't even have lengths of days and we're going to get into that in a little bit and no request that they make of you will be granted to their fathers on their behalf for they hope to live a continuous life and that each one of them will live 500 years so the watchers which are the angels wanted their beastly kids the giants to be able to at least live 500 years that was what they were going to petition god already knew that and he said no nah, they ain't going to grant he ain't going to grant none of that he going to kill them all and the lord said to michael so this is what michael had to do so all four of his chief angels had to go down to earth and handle business he says to Michael, go bind up Shamzaza, who was the original leader of the angels that was fallen from heaven, the 200 angels. He was the original, the, the top dog. He was the one that said, well, let's go into these, these women. You know what I mean? And he said, bind Shamza, Shamzaza and his associates who have united themselves with women so as to have defiled themselves with them in all their uncleanliness and when their sons have slain one another and they have seen the destruction of their beloved ones bind them fast for 70 generations in the valley of the earth until the day of their judgment and of their consummation until the judgment and until the judgment that is forever and ever in the cons and is consumed consummated so he had to bind up the chief leader that went and went into these women of men women of men sons of god went into the women of men and he had a sentence too all of these people had sentences so he didn't get the sentence as as uh as a, as 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 a, as a rule i mean as as azazel as azel as azel yeah and he wasn't even the chief as azel got the the most he ain't even gonna see nothing he ain't gonna see nothing to the end of judgment he going straight from darkness with the, the jagged stones and all of that straight to the pit of fire he ain't gonna see nothing but darkness and then fire and brimstone but shamzaza who was the leader 70 generations and then they're gonna uh consummation and all of that so that they're gonna be loosed at the end time you know what i mean for just a little period of time they're gonna be loosed out back loose 70 70 generations and basically they had the, all of these angels that had bore sons they bore sons right all of them had to watch their giant children get slain by one another right in front of their face just imagine you having your kids and then and then god saying like you know your kid ain't gonna be able to live i don't want to hear nothing i'm gonna show you that they're gonna kill each other and you're just gonna watch it and then right after they watched it they was bound up so that's why they was weeping and everything because they had some type of compassion in those days in those days they will lead off to the abyss of fire and the torment in the punishment in the punish in the, in the prison in which they will be confounded forever and whoever will condemn and destroy and destroyed will from then on be bound together with them be bound with them angels for some 70 generations whoever be doing that wicked and evil deed we be bound with them to the end of all generations and destroy all the spirits listen to this part destroy all the spirits 
of the reprobate and the children of the watchers because they have wronged mankind. Destroy all the spirits. Destroy, destroy all the spirits of the reprobate and the watchers because they have destroyed mankind. And they have wronged mankind. Destroy all the wrong from the face of the earth and let every evil work come to an end and let the plants of righteousness and truth appear and it will and it will prove a blessing the works of the righteous and truth will be planted in trust and truth and joy forever and truth and joy forevermore and then all the righteous will escape and will live until they beget thousands of children and they will complete the, all the days of their youth and their old age in peace. And then the whole earth will be tilled in righteousness and will be planted with trees and full of blessings. So after he wiped out the giants and everything like that. He made it, he made it renewed again. And that's why he was saying like, there's going to be thousands of children. You know what I mean? Man going to be able to be more righteous and stuff. So when it first, when it first started over again, these people did know truth and they knew justice and peace and they was out here in peace. You know what I mean? And then we're going to go, and, um, and he was talking about, you know, that he's going to make it because he ain't condemned the whole earth. You know what I mean? He was going to wipe out the earth and say nothing, you know, but, but that's why we had Noah. And then he says, and you will clean, he said, and you will clean the earth from all oppression and from all unrighteousness and from all sin and from all godlessness and destroy all the unclean that is worked on the earth from off the earth and all the children of men will become righteous and all the nations will offer adorations and will praise me and all who worship me in the in the earth will be clean from all defilement and from all sin and from all um, punishment and from all torment and i will Never again send them on it from generation to generation and forevermore. He will never send them demons, them, them fallen angels on the earth. Never again. Because when he did that, he, you got to remember, God cast them out of heaven and sent them to the earth. And this is what they did. So he had to redo the earth like he did it with the flood. He purified the earth again and started over and then this is what transpired that's why he says these things he clean it from the pollution clean it from the defilement clean it from all unrighteousness and then um this was enoch he, he had to go talk to the watchers which are the angels you know the fallen angels because god closed himself away from them so that's why enoch was here to 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 basically intercede for the fallen angels after this because he walked with God. Before these things, Enoch was hidden and no one of the children of men knew where he was hidden and where he dwelt and what he became of. <clears throat> and his activities had to do with the watchers and his days were with the holy ones. And I, Enoch, was blessing the lord of majesty and the king of the ages and the watchers called me enoch the scribe the angels called him enoch the scribe and said to him enoch you scribe of righteousness go declare to the watchers of heaven who have left the high heaven and holy perpetual place and have defiled themselves with women and have done as the children of the earth do and have taken wives to themselves. You have worked great destruction on the earth and you have no peace nor forgiveness of sins. And as much as they delight themselves in their children, 
they will see the murder of their own, of their beloved ones, and they will lament over the destruction of their children and will make supplications continuously, but you will not attend mercy and peace. So what did he say? He said, yo, Enoch, you need you to go to the watchers, to the angels that fell, the 200 angels, and tell them that whatever they do, they can, they can, they can talk to God or try to pray to God and ask God this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? Ask God this, that, and the third. Uh, yo, watch my child. Let him live 500 years. You know, he's talking about, they're talking about these giants. And he's like, nah, y'all not going to see peace. Y'all going to be crying. They're going to be lamenting over their children. And they're going to be slain in front of their face. Just imagine if you got to see, you know how that would feel, man. That would feel horrible or horrific. And, um, and then it says here, we're going to get into the last chapter. Enoch right here. Enoch. And Enoch went and said, Azazel, you will have no peace in severe sentence have gone out against you to put you in bounds and you will not have toleration nor request granted to you because of the because of the unrighteousness which you have taught and because of all the works of ungodliness and unrighteousness in sin which you have shown to men then I said, then I spoke to them all and they were all afraid and feared and trembled, seized them. Then, and they implored to me, draw up a petition for them that they might have forgiveness. So he went to Azazel first. Just imagine you being a human being going to this angel because angels, they, they giants too. Just imagine you you having that type of juice. Enoch had that juice, dog. Like, yo, you going up to this angel like, yo, you, you the one. You ain't going, you the one that's going to get it the worst. Basically state, stating that to him. And then he goes to the other angels like, yo, all of y'all about to get this wrath from God. And y'all all gonna be bound up and stuff like that. And then they was all crying and crying out to 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 whoever because they couldn't cry to God no more. Like they couldn't even look upon the the heavens anymore because what they did was was ungodly. And uh, they asked they asked Enoch like, "Yo, let me let me let me make a petition and tell God these things." Just imagine how angels act like us, y'all. Like they act like human beings. Like, yo, they wanted petition. They wanted to be like, nah, God, you can't just do us like that. We your sons. And God's like, nah, not anymore. And fight uh, forgiveness. And read their petition in the presence of the Holy, in the, in the presence of the Lord of heaven. For from that point forward, they could not speak with him, meaning God, the Father nor lift their eyes to heaven for shame of their sins for which they have been condemned. Then I wrote out, this is Enoch, he wrote their petition. Then I wrote out their petition and prayed in regard to their spirits and their deeds individually and in regard to their requests that they should have forgiveness in length. And I went off and sat down at the waters of the uh, of Dan in the land of Dan to the south of the west of Hermon. And there I read their petition until I fell asleep. You know what I'm saying? So this is all spiritual. Like Dan, I mean, Enoch fell asleep. So, you know, when he went back into the dream state, this is what God said. And behold, a dream came to me and a visions fell down on me. And I saw visions of discipline and a voice came binding me to tell them. Oh, and, and a voice came bidding me to tell it to the sons of heaven 
and reprimand them. And when I and when I awake, I came to them and they were all sitting gathered together, weeping in Abrajel, Ab, Absbajel, which is between Labian and Sinizer with their faces covered. So I'm going to leave that one right there. And then I'll get into another passage of Enoch, you know, telling them, you know, obviously, you know, they went with their petition to God and, 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 and Enoch really did. He tried to, he tried to, to, to petition himself for, for these watchers that's supposed to watch us as mankind, but they destroyed everything. You know what I mean? And, and, um, yeah, and then on the next passage Basically, I read a little bit, you know, I mean, I know a little more, but um, God was basically mad, like, yo, dog, you, how you gonna have a human come up and y'all supposed to be in control of, and watch over the humans, having the human come to me asking for y'all forgiveness, like, that doesn't even sound right. So God was super tight when when, when he yeah, told Enoch in the dream, like what he wanted to tell the, 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 the sons of God, the, the watchers, the angels, the fallen angels. But man, it's, it's a beautiful thing, man. You should know these words because this is stuff that we are missing. People try to talk about dinosaurs. People try to talk about all these other goofy things that, and they be trying to like neglect that we had giants on the earth and it says it in the book of Genesis, you know what I mean? The Nephilim, sons of God, like sons of God ain't us, dog. I know people, some people in the church might even try to say we are sons of God. We are the son of man. That's what we are. We're not the sons of God. The sons of God are angels. They will have to be angels. Just think of the name sons of God. They will have to be something spiritual, but you, we don't even got to talk about that. This is what Enoch is saying. This is for the chosen people of Christ. Y'all should know these things because if you're a chosen one, you should know. Study to show thyself approval unto God and make yourself worthy. You know what I'm saying? So no man can tell you which way or this, that, and the third or none of these things. Like, And, and it's this book tells you a lot of different things. And I just basically had to go through, you know, one through 13 because that's basically the meat and potatoes on why we had the flood. And um, the flood was real. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people were like, oh, this is hokey pokey. And then that, why they had them, why they had to have the boat so big? And because, because it had to kill giants. The flood had to kill giants. And giants was 40 times the size of a human being. We look like, just think of a locust. We look like locusts to the giants. So just imagine how big in scale they were. So the flood had to go up a great height just to to cover what was going on. Yeah, just to cover what, you know what I mean, the earth. He had to cover the earth and purify the whole earth. And he purified the earth with the four angels. Michael, Azrael, I mean, Uriel, uh, Gabriel, and, and Raphael. You know what I mean? So... That is right there. I'm going to leave that. That's um, uh, basically chapters 9 through 13. And then I'm going to go on to another part of Enoch. Uh, keep on talking about it. And he talks about like hell and stuff. But I mean, those, those is like, I mean, those are certain things. I might drop a couple of jewels in that. But it's not really the meat and potatoes. We want to know the secrets. We want to know the reasonings why. Uh, certain things like that was basically the main reason why we had the flood was because of the giants and the angels doing devilish deeds and teaching the mankind and basically destroying all mankind what, what God had worked for to make that's why he was so like upset that he had caused these things and he says it in the book of Genesis you know what I mean like he was upset that what what he had done like he thought he did an evil deed but his children, his children, sons of God, the angels, his his kids up in heaven, they wasn't supposed to give us a lot of these secrets that they was giving us. And their spirits are still on this earth to this day. Actually, it talks about that. That's be the next portion that I talk about is like the spirits are still here and people summons these spirits. And that's why they're evil spirits. Like 
people are calling these things gods and they're not gods they're evil spirits from the giants and from the the angels that's bound up so i'm gonna leave that one right there like subscribe and share this is church from churches intake god bless